What is the name of the company founded by Thomas Lyle Williams in 1915 after he noticed his older sister applying a mixture of Vaseline and coal dust on her eyelashes, which gave them a fuller and darker look? Maybelline. What event was broadcast for the first time on January 15th, 1967 by both NBC and CBS? The Super Bowl. In 2020, which state boasted the most Fortune 500 companies? Pass. With Amazon, for, when Amazon first began its online business in 1995, what was the only product it sold? Books. Love in This Club was a number one hit for which R&B singer in 2008? Usher. In 2020, which state boasted the most Fortune 500 companies? California. Time. Peggy, how did you do? I think I either did really well or I'm very confident and stupid. <laughs> okay. Well, been well, on both of those. I will, yeah. I will tell you this. It is one of those things. All right. Hold on. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now, we have Joe in. Reset the timer. Zero. Hi, Joe. Joe. That made the biggest mistake of my life. Just now? When I did not bring this bagel out here with <laughs> out there with me, oh man, that was oh my god, terrible. Was that? Did that feel like the longest time you've ever waited in the hallway? Yeah, it did. <laughs> right. I can't eat pictures on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe. Okay. Not again, Joe. Your turn on Dumber Than the Show trivia yeah. begins in three, two, one. What is the name of the company founded by Thomas Lyle Williams in 1915 after he noticed his older sister applying a mixture of Vaseline and coal dust to her eyelashes, which gave them a fuller, darker look? Uh, repeat that name again, please. Thomas Lyle Williams. Uh, ooh. L'Oreal. Uh, uh, pass. What event was broadcast for the first time on January 15th? 1967 by both NBC and CBS. The Super Bowl. In 2020, which state boasted the most Fortune 500 companies? Oh, man. Um, Delaware. When Amazon first began its online business in 1995, what was the only product it sold? Books. Love in this club was a number one hit for which American R&B singer in 2008? Usher. What is the name of the company that was founded by Thomas Lyle Williams in 1915 after he noticed his older sister applying a mixture of Vaseline and coal dust to her eyelashes, which gave them a fuller, darker look? Damn it. Um, Maybelline. Time. I feel like I didn't hear any words you said, but I answered things. <laughs> Were you thinking about the bagel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Peggy, welcome back. Let's score this game. What is the name of the company found, founded by Thomas Lyle Williams in 1915? You know, the thing about the Vaseline and the coal dust. The sister, Fuller, look. <laughs> Joe said, L'Oreal, no. Yeah, pass. Mm -hmm. And then said, Maybelline. Peggy said, Maybelline. Maybe it's Maybelline. Correct. One, one. <laughs> In my head, I went, maybe, maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's L'Oreal. <laughs> like, that is not right. <laughs> what event was broadcast for the first time January 15th, 1967 by both NBC and CBS? Joe said the Super Bowl. Peggy said the Super Bowl. Mm. The answer is the Super Bowl. Two to two. <laughs> when Amazon first began its online business in 1995, what was the only product it sold? Joe said books. What do you know, stupid? You didn't even know you could buy books from Amazon, a yeah. quote you once said. <laughs> Absolutely. Peggy said books. All right. Correct, correct. Three to three. Hmm. Love in this club was a number one hit for which American R&B singer in 2008? Joe said, Usher. Hmm. Peggy said, Usher? She did? <laughs> It's Usher! What? Four to four! We got a gusher with Usher! Oh, no. Yeah. An Usher oh, gusher. No. An Usher gusher. Oh, I don't like this. In yeah. 2020, which state boasted the most Fortune 500 companies? 
Joe said Delaware, population 20. <laughs> but, second smallest but, state. Aren't there a... I guess we'll find out. Peggy said California. I'll tell you this. Uh-huh. California uh-huh. was second with 54. It's not Ooh. California. It's Delaware, dude. It is. The state with the most Fortune 500 companies uh-huh. was? Yeah. Say it. Come on. New York! Oh, <laughs> tied at four. We go to the clocks. I thought they were all headquartered there. Like Because of the tax breaks and there. everything. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. God, jeez. Yeah. New York had 55, one ahead of California. Third was Texas with 53. Where was Delaware? Was not on the list. <laughs> Where did I hear this? Uh, I do think a lot of companies... They do. Uh, they do set up shop there sometimes. For Base tech, I'm not right. sure that they're like the big. I don't think they put their headquarters there. I think that's what they're talking about. Oh yeah. no! Howings, what were the clocks? It was close, right? Well, now I will say this: <clears throat> I made an incredible mistake. I did. I, I pulled a Steve on this one. Steve did will you agree. Forget? <laughs> on when Joe started, I realized about 30 seconds in that I had forgotten to start uh, start the timer. Okay. So I started it. And then just thought, well, if it comes down to it, I might have to have Steve find out. But now here's the thing. Question one was really long, and Joe needed it repeated. And so even though I forgot to start it at least 30 seconds in, he still lost by two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in at 45.57 versus Peggy's 43.07. Oh, so this I feel confident in the time that Peggy won. Peggy! <laughs> This is literally my best game I've ever played. <laughs> oh. Peggy, you've won seven hundred dollars. Thank well, you so much. Well done. Yeah. Margarito I'm burritos for, for everyone. Hold on. Margarito. <laughs>